I hate mornings. Meet my new friend. We're going to be well acquainted in a moment. Yeah. So, good morning. Today is a day we've been trying to plan for three months now. From July. We were planning Ian's birthday party. Now, Ian's birthday is in August. But there was a lot of stuff going on. And we had the chance to have a birthday party at a place in town that he really enjoys. But they had to redo their floors. And there was a whole bunch of stuff going on. And the only availability they had was September after that. So they were developing how to do birthday parties there. And that's what we signed up for. And then last week... Our last opportunity we had, Ian wasn't feeling well, so we had to reschedule, so now it got bumped. And today's finally the day. So as you see, there's all of his party favors and things and food and a pinata. Pinata, I know. Um, but before that, we were smart enough to sign up for our run because we don't do enough on weekdays or weekends. Because our days aren't always chock full of stuff to do. Now we have to we do more stuff. For the race in July. We registered for the race in July. Not knowing. Not knowing. He was going to get sick and he have was his going party to today. get sick and have his party today. As my supervisor has just informed me. <laughs> Hold on. Look Nick, you're making it sound like when I when intentionally planned this really long day. Did I say that? Yes. You when did. did I say that? Two minutes ago. I did I did not. The packer is so full in the day. We do. Do we not? No, it always unintentionally happens. I don't know. That I way. think we pack a lot of stuff in the day. No, no. I want to do Yeah, she packs everything up in the day. So anyway, so today we're gonna open up 5 a.m. I'm in my running gear, as you could say. Lucky me. 5 a.m. Ready to go do a run. Dogs are up and they're happy. I got something for you. Watch this. Oh no. Wait, hold on. What do we got going on here? Deuce, you want some coffee? Deuce is not a fan of coffee. Deuce, do you want a sip? Buckley, would you like some coffee? Buckley likes coffee, actually. Here. Could you go, Buckley? You want some coffee? <laughs> He's like, oh. I'm a little too hot right now. I think this is a trap. He doesn't like cameras. Deuce, do you want a sip, Deuce? All right, can I have my coffee, please? No. Okay, so not only do I have to be up at 5 o'clock, I don't get to have my coffee. Alright, now she's messing with me. Just for that, I'm going to put her on the discomfort can. Nice coffee. You don't want any. Yeah, I showed her. You know, I'm no personal trainer, obviously. But I've heard that it's good to do some carb loading before you do any exercise. So I was thinking about it, I said, okay, carbs, they're puffs, right? And then I thought, well, there's cheese on it, so there's, you know, that's milk, it's protein. And um, puffs and cheese and corn, corn, there's corn in here, right? Cornmeal, corn's good for you. I know, look at that. And then there's a uh, monosodium glutamate, which did I mention? There's cheese in it. Oh, uh, what do we got going on here? Oh, look at Mr. Sleepy Face. He's a sleepy face. Ian, how you doing? Can you put me on the couch? Like, can you do what? Put me on the couch. I'm getting really. And then go on the couch. Yeah. Okay. Put on the drums on my neck. And there goes Ian. 60 pounds. Yep, let's see. Let's go over and look. 5.15 on the clock. That's the funny part about being a parent is that I remember when we would, uh, uh, before we had Ian in our younger days, we'd start going to bed around 5.15. Certainly wouldn't be going to a run. Yeah. 
Ah, this kid. It's gonna be a fun day. The run I'm doing with him is only like, what, 1.7 miles or something like that? Yeah. I could easily run that. Okay. Lynn's doing the 5K, so she's, she's gotta actually have a little bit more energy than I do. But... Yeah, well, yeah, that's the thing. He'll be excited once he sees the atmosphere and what's going on and all that, so. What's it for? What are we raising money for? Children's Heart Foundation. Children's Heart Foundation, because we love children's hearts. Because they ha it's a new foundation. That new foundation here. They just started. They have only two They employees. just started here. They only have two employees. And, um, and one um, of the founder members is from re the Refresher One community. of the founder members is from the Refresher community. I don't know what that is. Yes, you do. The Refresh Her community. The Refresh Her community. And I said I would support her. So we've gone from Refresh Her to support her. That's our thing. They say that perfect coffee is the color of He-Man. Who's they? No clue who they is, but... You? I think they're right. Yeah. My cup's from the Las Vegas Neon Museum. That's a pretty cool place here in Vegas. They have all the old neon signs from the various decades here in Vegas. 6 a.m. here in Vegas. That's not a still picture. That's actually what it looks like. We got palm trees, a beautiful sunrise lining up, and then we got, I believe that's Venus. Morning star? It's morning. I think it's Venus. But not bad. A little cold this morning, but let's go do this. What do you think? Ian, what do you think? Cool. Let's go register. Cool, let's go register up in here. Alright, so this is the park. Coming up on sunrise up in here. And there's the uh, starting line over there. You can see the clock counting down in the background. And then there's check-in over here, so. Ian, I think that shirt's a little big on you. What do you think? Funny. <laughs> I'm going to show you the mountains back there. They're phenomenal. Maybe hard to see on the camera, but you see on the horizon there, we got all the mountains there. The mountains are all lit up red. I don't know what the heck they're doing back there, but uh, I know every dog in the neighborhood's aware of it. But there's the start line back there. You could probably see the clock ticking away. And... There's registration over there, that's where I just came from, but we got a whole bunch of stuff. And whenever you run a 5K, they give you a lot of stuff, a lot of swag, and they give you bags, and he ain't got those temporary tattoo things. So we are gonna go put that in the car because I ain't running with that. I already got enough weight holding me down. I don't need to throw that on top of it too. So I'm gonna go put that in the car. I think we're gonna go do the race. I don't think I'm gonna actually vlog during the race because that's just a recipe for disaster waiting to happen. But, busy day today for the Quinterables. This is our super secret training. We're actually not running a 5K, we're actually, uh, we're in super secret training. Yeah. So a car stopped for me and they're looking at me like I'm crazy. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna go put the stuff in the car now. And let's go get this thing on. Ian, what do you think? You ready to do this? Yeah, so we always got to check which direction it goes because, like, we had one time where we're facing one way, all locked and loaded, <laughs> well, everybody starts running the other way. Facing us? And I'm like, everybody's looking at me. Is that a good thing? <laughs> Turns out we went the wrong way, so. Uh, oh, look, a beagle! Oh, yay. Oh, I miss those? my beagle. I miss my running buddy. They said no dogs allowed. <sighs> well, I don't see a number on her, so. Yeah. Well, no, she's just walking. I miss my beagle. All right, 46 seconds on the clock. You ready to go do this? Look at the camera. Oh, that's great. Such a good vlogger, this kid. <laughs> and please hang around for these awards. We do have awards for top finishers. So after you have finished 
running, please hang around so that we can distribute those awards to all those awesome runners. We also have a There's one here at the finish line, so when you cross the finish line, do something cute. You think we're going to win any of the top finisher prizes? <laughs> Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I'm about 35 minutes. I wonder if they have a prize for last finisher, because it's more our speed. Alrighty, ready? Alright, we are at zero on the clock. It is time. Yeah. Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> Keep going. Watch where you're going, baby. Go ahead, go, I'll catch up to you. <sighs> yep, the young pup over there failed to realize that dad can outrun him. <laughs> Dad's gonna win. <sighs> so I got a good pace going. I'm out of breath, sweaty. And this is just walking up to the starting line. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how far I've ran this far, but Ian's been a trooper, man. Look at him. <laughs> I think he needs a break, so. All right, more at the finish line. Yes, I'm you did it! High five! Go get your medal. Good job! Nice. Get your water over there. Go get water. Catering, go ahead. Do you know, is he yours? Yeah. Did he do the full five thing or did he do the walk? Just the walk. Okay, because he's got a, a time thing, so it's got a skew result, so I need to change it in the system. Okay, yeah. 1120. 1120? Good yeah. job, dude. Sorry about that. Uh, there's Cosmo One, two, three. from our baseball team. So, how'd it go? Good. Was that a hard run? Yeah, it was. Here. So, is that a hard run for you? Take it. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't beat my best time, but I'm so happy. I beat my recent times. I haven't. Yeah.
So the 5K is over. We're in the car getting ready to go home. And uh, Ian did the 1.7 mile daily. Good job. And Lynn did the 5K, so she had a decent time. Yeah, She's happy with everything. Now, what was funny was, is the uh, gentleman that checked us in decided to give Ian the uh, 5K number in the badge instead of the kids version of it so he did 1.7 miles he came in like third in the race in like the fight he came in third in the 5k and it was funny we crossed the finish line everybody's like did he just run the 5k i'm like no and like oh well he's gonna skew all the numbers because other people are running i'm like well don't tell me about it. i didn't check him in you know so they were a little little like a little, little snippy about that but not my fault don't uh don't bust my lamb chops i was just well i just told him his name the uh, dude at the counter is the one that gave him the number so that's your problem not mine mm -mm. anyway so the race is over and we have a few hours before we have to run run out i should say and we're gonna go home get cleaned out and uh anyway so we're gonna go home we're gonna get cleaned up and we have to get ready for the birthday party but before I, I head out, I just want to tell you, Ian started out the race very strong. He was running and, and hustling, and we were both running together. And then maybe like a quarter of the way, he's like, Dad, I want to walk. Dad, I want to walk. And I'm like, seriously? Yeah, oh, it hurts. And then he started walking. This is an ugly race. I'm like, well, dude, this is what you signed up for, man. But... We, we uh, walked most of it. He ran a little more after that. And then I took off near the finish line and I crossed the finish line and he had a run to catch me. So you saw that on the earlier video. And I got my medal and I got my Gatorade. He got a medal and a Gatorade. Oh, I put the medal already in the uh, truck. No, that's okay. We have pictures and of it. You have some grapes and goldfish crackers, okay? Don't eat the so cheese. So now it's post-workout meal. Because it's not been cold. It's Which for me might be Taco Bell, we're not sure. Oh no. No, 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 As no, you no, heard, oh no, no from no, 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 Kia no, Kill. No, no, That's no, why she's called no, Kia no. Killjoy. No, 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 she no, just, no, coffee She beans. just totally unrung my Taco no. Bell. No, no, no. no. Stop. I just had two crappy muffins. No. Taco Stop. Bell breakfast is wonderful. Please. No. Killjoy. No. 